210 Boxing TV. Here we are with uh, front runner for trainer of the year, Derek James. Well, we got your fighter, Frank Martin, uh, fighting uh, Jackson Marinas, who had a controversial fight with Roly Romero. Lots, a lot of people felt he won. What problems or what do you think he possesses uh, for Frank coming into this fight? He's a great boxer. I think that he's very smart and intelligent. It's all about strategy and game plan. Being able to take his advantage of the way. He's a good fighter. He's very athletic, very agile. He's a late replacement. So, you know, we, we train for everything. So, we'll be able to. Yeah, adjust and adapt to what he's doing. Do you feel like Frank Martin is one of the most underrated guys at 135? Um, of course, you know, Shakur, um, well, no, I'm sorry, not Shakur, but Haney, Tank, or the, the cream of the crop, but you also got guys on the PBC like Ryo, Pitbull. Do you feel like Frank Martin is one of those forgotten guys, but he's on the come up where a lot of guys are, are mentioning his name, like, yo, this is a guy you got to watch at 135? I think, that, I think that it's right on pace. I mean, everybody sees him. He's a guy that they see, they just don't say anything about him. Which says a lot also. So not that he's over, overrated, I mean over overlooked, it's just that it's a process, it's a growth process. And so you give him depth with the longer it takes, you're fighting the right opponents. Do you feel the question is, do the other people have depth? Is there is there a specific guy that you feel like would be a perfect matchup for him, either Pitbull, Ryo? Who's who's a guy at 135 you feel like, yo, when it comes down? That's that's the fight I want to put no, Frank I over the top. That, I mean, I want to fight when he wants to fight. I never put my personal feelings involved in it because this is his career. I'm just here to help him get prepared for the fight. But I want to fight whoever he wants to fight. That's how it is. Now, um, getting back to uh, Charlo Castano, right. it was great fight. What do you think the adjustments uh, made that that Charlo was able to do to get the knockout this victory this time around? Well, I can't talk about it. <laughs> I mean, everybody was able to see it. I mean, um, really, I, it's like more, more detailed, more complex than that. But yeah, so yeah, but he did it. Uh, I think that the best thing that they did was that they convinced Cassano so much that he won the first fight that he forgot how he was running the last four rounds of the fight because he was trying to say say a lot. So I think that was the best deal that happened, and that was done by his trainers and his camp. He kept dwelling on the last fight. To in this one. So I think that they did a number on their person that I believe. That I kept hearing what kept like, what did you tell about the last fight? And he was so caught up in that that he couldn't be, he couldn't be present for the fight he had with you his last time. Did you feel like every fight's different and that's the main thing you were you're going the game the, the mindset you had going into that the rematch? I think that I mean, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. And I think that they thought they faced the worst version of Jamel Charlo, but they didn't. They thought they did, and so they were happy with that. And that's right, they didn't face the best version of Jamal Charlo. And so that was another, yet another advantage because they were joining on the first fight so much, they wouldn't think that maybe he was better or he would do something different. And so really, that's basically what I was to tell everything. They thought that that was the best version of himself. Do you feel like he, um, Charlo, um, cemented himself by being undisputed and showing everyone that, yo, he is the king at 154? You know, without a doubt. I mean, he showed that from the fight. I mean, how, how he beat him, how dominant he looked, and how great he was uh, from the first fight to this fight. He just showed the advantages and showed just really what he, what, what he does. I mean, you know, the other guys are good fighters, but I haven't seen that in them, those, the ability to be able to do those things. So we'll see. Exactly. Now, I did want to give a, a real quick update. Um, Errol Spence, Crawford, some people are saying the fights, What's going on? Is there an announcement? You so, told you, you told me it's next after, after, after the fight you can't last time. Listen, anything anybody says, let's say, let's say Al Heyman, or let's say Al Heyman, or let's say Al Heyman. He's not talking to anybody. So everybody else is speculating, maybe. So nobody, nothing you can say about it. It's like everybody's talking. The fight, it's, it's going to happen if, if the guy signs the contract. It's going to happen. Do you think everyone just said chill out? It's gonna happen in the yeah, fall. Just hold your horses. Everybody prediction. Everybody, it's, gonna, it's, all, it's all going to happen. You want, you're gonna get what you want. Everybody's gonna get it. And I think that's what just deal with it. Chill out. It's gonna happen. And we're gonna all get it. Now, a- after the fight um, with Spence Ugas, I-, I asked you what are your thoughts, and you just stra- you straight up said vicious. That Errol Spence was vicious. Do you feel like he showed that when it comes, when the tough gets going, he's gonna get tough, and he's he's he, you know you're not gonna get Spence out of there, that he's gonna die hard basically. Hey man, he's a guy who said he's willing to die in the ring, 
just get busy. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, but it's like, uh, I'm going to tell them what we laugh about later. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, um, and he's just focused, man. He, he, wants, he wants to win so bad that he's willing to give it all in the ring. And that's what you saw in that fight. He had a guy landing just a couple of shots. But that was just a couple of shots because he, he was getting him before those shots. He was even getting him more after those shots. So it's like, you know, it's okay.